Today in Tall Terror Defense, we will test out and find out which unit is the best. So I have some, I have pretty much every unit in Tall Terror Defense, from the Spider TV to the DG TV Man. But I want to test out which one is actually the best. So we're going head to head. I'm going to spawn in first, and first up is the Hyper Upgraded Titan Speaker Man. All right, so I'm going to spawn in a hundred Hyper Upgraded Titan Speaker Mans versus a hundred Titan Drill Mans, just to see which one is actually the best. So now that I just spawned one of those, I could spawn in the farm, I could spawn in some more farms, and I'll put in the healer woman as backup, because the healer woman does have a base heal, so we'll use her. She pretty much won't be of it, we, we won't really, I don't really need to use her for anything else. Alright, so let's go to, and we're gonna do this in Egg Island. So first, it's a hundred hyper upgrade Titan Drill Mans, versus a hundred Titan Drill Mans. $150 for the first unit, $150 for the next one. Now I know I'm probably going to have to kill some units in the start, so we'll put in the Katana Speaker Woman. But I only have to spawn maximum 2, alright? Maximum 2 just to get things started. Just for wave 1. So, because we can get way past wave 1 and then we got to spawn in our other good units. Like my farms. And then next is a 100 Hyper Upgrade Titan Speaker Mans. Alright, let's get past wave 2, come on. Spawn in a 100 Hyper Upgrade Titan Speaker Mans. We need a ton of money because it costs 2,000 to spawn in. So I have to use like basically every single farm out there. I've reached my limit for placing money troops. Oh, that sucks. That is garbage. Oh, I don't even have. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even have $2,000 yet. And the large toilets here. The large toilets, large toilets here. Hey. Hey, oh, hey. Hello, hello. Give me some cash, please. Um. Money troops? Give me some cash, please, money troops. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Alright, I'm a thousand dollars away. Okay, cool. Please just pay me my money. Money troops, like, literally pay me my money. Just give me my money. After this, I have to delete all the Katana Speak Romans once I get my hyper upgrade time Dromans in the game. Alright, it is wave 9, we got a hundred bucks. The Katana Speaker Woman's doing pretty good on the boss toilet. But I guarantee you guys, we're probably gonna lose this. For some reason, even with infinite mode turned on, I still got it. Five days after the April Fool's event. I, don't, I just don't think it's possible. Oh, I didn't spawn it properly. I think this map is too small. But take a look at this, come on. Katana. There's no way they can handle this. It's already wave 10. Come on, they can they can stop this, please. 59 toilets, dude. This is gonna be impossible. Laser glasses toilet. Wait, come on. No, 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 no. Let's place that there. Katana speaker woman. Thank you very much. Okay. No. Alright, large glass toilet really scares me for some reason. Yep, yep. This dude. Oh my days, brother. Oh brother. He's taken down. He's taken down, man. He's taking this dang down. Oh my gosh, 50 health. How do I still have infinite mode after the April Fool's event? This is weird. Okay, thank you Tilanthric for giving me admin. Here we go, boss toilet, you're going down, boss toilet. Boss toilet, yeah, these dudes are not being stopped. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you know what else we're gonna do? Let's just buy, let's just buy some more Jester crates, all right? We're gonna spend 100,000 Robux. Let's try to get another Mythic. I want more Titan Sigma Mans, okay? That's really what I want. Buy items, I need more coins, I need more money, Talanthric, thank you very much. Now I think I've got rid pretty much every single item. From Mewing Man, the Ohio right there we got. Perfect. I also want another Sigma. I want more Sigmas, brother. Yes I do. Should we do 10 more? There we go. Ohio Cameraman, Microwave Man, nope, that's not the Sigma. Dudes, everybody comment down below. Do you get the Sigma, Titan Sigma Man, and Toilet Tower Defense? Alright. Well, oh, Microwave Man, thank you very much again. Ohio. Ohio. No, bro. I'm starting to really I hate Ohio now. I don't want to see another Ohio cam. I don't want to see another one. Telanthric, what are you doing to me? I'm giving. I'm spending you like 100,000 Robux today, and you're not giving me this unit. Give me another Sigma. I already got one. I want two, though, so I could trade to one of you guys. For free! It looks like that's probably not gonna happen though. Oh man, this might take a while, dudes. I'm summoning 10 at a time. And I keep pulling the microwave man. Can someone get the microwave man or put him in the oven? Because we got Mewing TV man now. 
10 more. That's another Ohio. Congratulations, Talanthric. God, we're just getting so many Ohios now, okay? It's crazy. Another Ohio cameraman. Oh, my days, brother. Come on, bro. Come on. And that's just another microwave man again. That's just another microwave man again. Come on. How many Ohio cameramans do I want to get? Zero. I already got all four. I need another 10 Sigma. I need two. Two of them. I really do. Um, should we get another basic crate though or another mythic? That would be a good idea. I'm not sure how many Robux I have left though, but all I know is that we just got to keep on spending Robux. Let's do some more. Another, oh my gosh, wow, they're so rare. Yeah, they're really rare units when you keep on getting them. How are they rare? Literally, how are they called rare units if I keep on getting the Ohio Cameraman? Dude, they're not that rare, dude. The Microwave Man is pretty epic though, I would say. And the Moon TV Man is a legendary unit. He is a legendary unit, brother. Here we go, another rare. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Wow, more rare units. I guess they're not that rare. They should be called commons. Like they're commons again. Oh my days. I'm down to 18,000 coins. 16,000 and I haven't got nothing. I haven't got nothing, brother. Oh my. Okay, that's not the one I- that's not it. That is not it again. Oh my gosh, guys. Everybody subscribe right now so we can get some extra luck into a tower defense. 9,000 coins left. 7,000. Okay, the last 7,000 should be pretty lucky. I should get a Titan Sigma. Here we go. That is not it. That is, that is not it, man. That is totally not the right one. Oh no 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 we're doing this wrong or something. Or the game is broken. What what did I do? I just broke toilet tower defense. What did I do? Oh Ohio, wow. Hello rare unit. Ohio cameraman, hello. But today we're going to get the healer TV woman. So I have like ten thousand Robux and we're gonna spend it all on toilet tower defense. Let's get the healer TV woman. Okay, so that gave me a bunch of hearts, boys, and two thousand more hearts. There it goes. Guys, subscribe because I need your luck right now. 12,000 hearts. I can buy maybe 60 crates. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Yes, I'm right, boys. We do got some mythics, but we don't got that Valentine's Day mythic. Uh, Santa TV man, Titan Cinema man, some of the OG ones that I have. All right, let's go to our little special area and start hatching. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's a large heart speaker, man. Wasn't expecting that one. Definitely did not want that one, actually. Jeez, 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 what is this? I got a, I got a speaker woman's rose farm. I mean, I got a cupid camera woman, that's a legendary. I mean, it's not mythical. Open it up to give me the rose farm. Dude, what am I gonna do with that? Just get a whole bunch of money? Here we go. And none of them are the Mrs. Speaker woman. And let's keep an opening. I have a lot of, lot of hearts. I could also give some to you guys, but you gotta subscribe first. And here it goes. Here it is, the large heart speaker man, wow. I can't believe I got a large heart speaker man for the fifth time, I think. None of these are mythics, guys. Yeah, we haven't got the mythic yet. That's why we're doing 10 at a time. We're doing 10 more. Let's hope. Let's see. Will we get it? No. No. Commons all the time, bro. Uncommons all the time. And that is not a mythic, bros. Dudes. Shadow Hunter. Well, let's see if this guy has a mythic. He has a katana speaker woman, too. Oh, bro, I got some speakers. You could take this one. And you could take the shield cameraman. Let me just put that in the chat. Hey, all right. Yeah, we'll accept this trade. Two Cupid camera women for a Katana speaker woman. And that seems pretty right. We got the new Katana. I mean, it's pretty old. Pretty old uh, mythic, but it's a Katana speaker woman. So we'll accept it for now. Does pretty good on damage, but that's not enough. We have to spend some more Robux. I, I hope we have no choice. We gotta spend all the Robux we have. We could get something like the exclusive injured Titan crate or even a booster crate. There's a whole bunch of exclusive units that I haven't even seen. All right, for 300 Robux, we got that. Jetpack Machine Mace Cameraman right here. We'll just start off with buying, let's just buy this for starters. 10,000 hearts and we'll see what 10,000 hearts can get us. With 1,800 Robux left, I can now go to the shop and I wanna get this, the hyper upgraded Titan speaker man. And right, we'll just buy, yeah, we'll just buy four crates, yeah. How about that? And one of those. Oh, I don't have enough gems again. 2,000 hearts can get me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, even like what, 60? Oh no, that's it. Oh man, that's all the hearts we got. Break open these hearts. Open 10 at a time. I got the super luck on me. 
Super luck. <gasps> Healer TV woman! Yeah! 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 Let's go! Let's go! We got the Healer TV woman on our first try. Yes, sir. Yoink! Alright, now we need to get the other crates that I bought. Yeah, let's open three of the injured Titan crates. Or just one. For now. What are you? What in the what in the world are you? Uh dudes? Toxic upgrade Titan cameraman? Okay then. I didn't expect to get that one. This one's huge. This one's taking over my entire screen. It's a saw upgraded again. Alright. This Capybara is silently judging me for no reason. But I think it's time to equip our units. Let's go with the flamethrower. Let's go with the saw. And I'm liking the toxic upgraded titan. And we're gonna go with our mythics, boys. Our mythic healer TV woman. And I think we're gonna need the flower, the rose. Yeah, but let's use the rose farm. But now we must go into the endless mode. It's a total fortress. How long can we survive this? First thing I'm gonna spawn in is probably the flamethrower cameraman. He seems pretty strong. Oh, wait, only 1200 damage? Never mind. He's not that strong. Now we got $350, so if I sell that, I got 400 and I think I'm gonna to have to take some damage. Let's go. Take him down, Mr. Flamethrower. Oh, he actually is a flamethrower. This dude actually got the flames on him. With 137 bucks, we're probably going to need to spawn a speaker woman. Speaker woman farm. Or farming, boys. $230. Don't mind if I put one here. I don't mind that. Yeah, let's just wait for her to plant all of her roses. It's Valentine's Day, so we can't forget about that. Alright, let's see on wave 6. Now, this is endless mode. Now, we can go for as long as we want in this mode. And if I win, let's see if I if I lose this match, guys. If I lose any time, I'll give away one mythic to one of you guys. All you gotta do is subscribe. Right, let's see how far we can do this. An extra 200, so now I have a lot more cash. Cha-ching. Grandma Speaker Woman's working on her second rose farm. I like that, boys. Now we got 500 bucks. Here we go. Mucho hundo. Spawn all those in there. We got the flamethrower cameraman. We got two of them. Probably going to be taken down by the upcoming spider toilet. So, Mrs. Grandma Speaker Woman, I'm going to need more money. Okay, so we just got an achievement. Large glass toilets. We killed 14,000 of them. I didn't know that. And while these guys are doing this, I'm going to wait to spawn the healer TV woman. It's only $1,200, so it's... Not that much money. Hopefully she can kill all these toilets, dudes. There we go, 1200. Even on auto skip, we're doing good. We have 895 now. I have to upgrade her though. Oh, 6500 to upgrade? That's a lot of money. They're doing pretty, pretty good. Oh, nope, not, they're not doing pretty good. They're good. Pretty, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Alright, let's upgrade him by 600. There we go. Level 2 flamethrower. He's throwing out the flames. A healer TV woman healed the city. Oh, yes. Camera woman. The cameraman camp is still alive. We're not dead yet. All right, we got to upgrade this fool as well. And now both of them are upgraded to level two. And now I might need to spawn another special little unit. I can't believe it cost $6,500 to upgrade her to level two. Okay, so we might have to use the saw upgraded Titan cameraman. Let's see how the exclusive unit does. Okay, bro, you're... You're like a mythic, bro. I can see why you have a saw in your hand and you look frightening. Wave 17, so we can actually go for like wave 1000? Is that even possible? There's no way. And after that, I want to use the toxic upgraded titan cameraman. Brother, you that is too much flames. Who gave you the flames, Mr. Flamethrower? <laughs> I might have to upgrade this last one over here. And there we go. 2.0, mutant toilets, accomplished. We killed 171,000 of them. That's pretty much, that's pretty a lot. Even though I've been playing this game for only like two days. Forgot the dual blade toilets and the mutant toilets and even a jetpack. Police toilets can shoot people. No, no, no. This is bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Spawn, 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 spawn. Spawn, dude, spawn. No, he's knocked cold. He is knocked cold. Okay. Mutant toilet might actually destroy this. Mutant toilet. Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh, no way. I gotta turn off auto skip. What am I doing? Okay. Alright, let's switch some of our units out. Wait a second, I have a good idea. If I get two farms, if I get two farms, let's in let's equip two farms, bro. Two farms, three mythic units. I mean, well, just one mythic 
an exclusive and an exclusive and there we go boys we have a farm oh this dude spun in his units too he's got what is that elf cameraman oh woman elf all right he's got the elf cameramans on him and if i spawn a flamethrower that should pretty much help with the damage they shouldn't be getting nowhere bro 384 bucks yeah we can use that money to spawn in oh wait no we can't here we it is now that is 600 bucks and we need 1200 for the healer tv woman there it is healer tv one i didn't know how they can spawn them this close i haven't seen that so i should have spawned them in the last game that close up to the units but whatever 500 bucks oh i don't have enough money well how about this yes sir i do now all right this guy also spawned in oh he upgraded to a thousand all right nice level four bro level five bro nice 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 all right once it gets two thousand we're spawning it in let's go he <laughs> he all right level one toxic upgrade titan cameraman he's toxic he's so toxic bro 600 level four farm He's got his at level 5. That's a, that's a flex. That's a hardcore flex, bro. He's not spawning any other attacking units, though. He's just watching me as my units go insane. It's $3,000 to upgrade him. But I'm going to wait until I got 6,000 to upgrade her to level 2 Healer TV Woman. Oh my gosh, dude. The toilets are coming after us. Oh, nice. He's got a Titan Cinema Man. My boy knows what he's doing. Alright, we're going to level 50 with this one. We're going to level 50. And then we're going to upgrade this one to 1500 after I upgrade the healer TV woman. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. Upgrade you to level 2. Haha. -ha. Now that I did that, I can upgrade this boy to 3000. Maybe not yet. Maybe a little bit, maybe in a little bit. Okay. 2000 bucks so far. $2,046. Now it's going to cost us 1200 bucks to upgrade her to level 3. That's too much bank. The dude is now shooting beams of lightning from his chest. That's gotta hurt. Okay, he doesn't know what backup is this, my guy, my guy. Flamethrower. Okay, not so good. Or is it that good? Let's see. Mutant Toilet 2.0. Knock him? Knock him. Let's go. Touching clock. Working around the clock all the time. Max level. Then I'm going to upgrade him to five with 5,000 bucks to level 3. Yo, he just opened his ears and he's got two cameras on the side of him now. <laughs> the flying dual bus saw toilet. Oh, he is a strong, hefty one. He's a hefty little strong little toilet, bro. I might need to spawn another mythic us to stop this. He, uh, man, man, where are we going to go? Where are we going to spawn it? I think the clock man's got it though. Oh, clock man's at level f <gasps> five. What just happened? Yo, what? What just happened? Why is everything black and white? What the world just happened, bro? No way. I don't even know what that was. Somebody comment down below what the heck just happened. I've never seen that before in Toilet Tower Defense, but he's going to level 4 now. Yeah. Yeek. Level 4 and okay. Did we stop the boss saw toilet? No, we did not. Back up. Back up. Jeez, how is he getting zapped that much, dude? That sucks. And even the flamethrower is knocked out cold. He's cold. He's cold. Healer TV one, stop this. <gasps> oh, that hurts. That hurts. No, 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 no. 27 waves beaten only. Dang. I thought I was going to get to 50, but we stopped that wave 34. I mean, not terrible, but we got to wave 34. Today, I'm going to try to unlock the upgraded Titan Drill Man. It's one of the most exclusive, one of the rarest, and probably the best unit in Toilet Tower Defense. Talanthric gives us no options to buy in the shop. We have the upgraded Titan Speaker Man, the upgraded Titan Cameraman, even the Saw upgraded Titan Cameraman, but no Titan Drill Man. There's even a Green Laser Cameraman and even some Luck Boost. Even a Titan Clock Man. Wait, Titan Drill Man? I thought it was impossible to get the new Titan Drill Man, but it turns out... Something changed and now I can get it. Yeah, let me get two of those Titan Drill Mans. Let's see how strong these units actually are. And might as well get well, something like the Titan Clock Man as well. Titan Clock Unit, 700 Robux. By the way, don't get the Jetpack Mace Cameraman. He's uh, pretty terrible. The Green Laser Cameraman for an exclusive starter pack? Yeah, let's do that for 400 Robux. Go, let's go. Oh, Toilet Pro Pack. The Shield Cameraman and the Mace, 1500 Robux, baby. 
Exclusive. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, we need to buy more gems so we can get an exclusive injured titan crate and exclusive booster crate. Oh, yep. I have a lot of crates actually that I didn't open up, but I got two titan drill man so far. And for the mythic, in the last video, I got the healer TV woman, and I also want to get spawn titan clock. And now, if we open some units, let's go to our special little place. There we go. Valentine's Day first. Ten of them. Do I have extra luck? I don't know, I bought some extra luck, so hopefully I'm lucky. And yeah, that's that's nothing at all. Just some commons, uncommons, and some even rare units. Booster crates, 10 of those. Let's go. Let's see. A DJ Speaker Man, level 1. Exclusive Titan Crate. Exclusive Titan Crate. This one's big. This one's actually huge. He's toxic. Toxic upgrade Titan Cameraman. Alright, so I think these units do damage, right? Yeah, DJ Speaker Man does damage. So does the Titan Clock Man and the Healer Woman and of course the Titan Drill Man. The new units. Like, these are the freshest units in the game. Now, I want to see if we can break Endless Mode and Toilet Tower Defense. Let's break it. Skip. Auto skip started and we're gonna immediately spawn in our DJ... DJ boost. Oh, he does no damage. He only boosts your damage. Oh, man. My guy doesn't do damage. Oh, man, that's so bad. Yeah, DJ Speaker Man doesn't do any damage, guys. Not at all. Instead, he just um, dances around. His, his goal is to increase your damage. Well, this should be fun. The cameraman camp is going to take damage, and this might not be a good way to go, everybody. Okay, DJ Speaker Man, you have to be unequipped. I'm sorry, pal, but you're trash. Not as good as the flamethrower, but... We got the green laser cam man, so that should be pretty decent. Wave 1 has started, and we're going to spawn the best unit ever, and this is one right here. The green laser cam man. I probably spawned him way too much in the back. Why did I do that? Oh man, I messed up. Well, this dude needs to spawn something in. $200. He has $200 to spend. I haven't seen a laser ca laser cam man car in a long time, but that seems pretty nice. Okay, let's spawn another green laser cam man. We'll spawn it right here. Yeah, if we spawn it in the corners, the green laser cam man can do a 360 in tag all of them that's a perfect strategy right there for me i like to place my units right here on this corner and then one all the way at the end just in case the units get out of control and we can't stop them. and so now i'm going to spawn a farm so we can farm some roses and farm some money with 230 dollars next up another unit right here bam look at the range of this green laser camera man. he's almost as good as a uh, titans and even the mythics like with his range i've never seen a, um, any other range this big comment down below everybody if you guys seen a unit with a range this wide can i have a green laser camera man this guy said rip we have to win this game first time to use the drill we have to win this game first after we win then we can do it all right so hopefully Green laser, cameraman, and titan drill man can work together. Okay, so it doesn't shoot lasers, the titan drill man. Instead, the titan drill man just literally drills them up. Haha, <laughs> buddy. That's that's cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're now level two for the rose farm. You pro a uh, heck? Yeah, I, I, I spent a lot of Robux on this game, everybody. Be sure to subscribe for free units. The next unit, of course, titan drill man number two, boys. Number two, number two. Upgrade the titan drill man. It's $1,200. That's going to be a lot of money. That's a lot. That's a big dollars. But I can at least upgrade the green laser cam, man. Ooh. He went from looking green to now having purple armor. And if we upgrade the level 3 for the farm, so far so good. If you want one of the units, we have to get this win. We have to get to wave 100. Is that even possible? It is endless mode, so we're going to try it out. Okay, so while I have two Titan Drillmans in the top, once I get $2,000, we're going to spawn... The next one, Titan Clock Man. Bam. Let's go. Okay, well, he's really, really slow. And he's not a very strong unit. And he gets zapped. He's in the cooldown effect. Not cool, brother. Oh, we can't stop time. Oh, we stopped time for 300 seconds? Okay, I did not know that. I'm not sure what that does. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that in Toilet Tower Defense. But I'm pretty sure when you stop time, it helps you control the toilets that come out, right? Yeah. For instance, this dude is going to need backup. Oh no, well luckily I have this guy over here in the back. Green laser cameraman. Green laser cameraman, zap them. Zap them, zap them, zap them. Oh my gosh. That took a lot of damage right there. That's so bad. That is so bad. Time to spawn to Healer TV Woman. The Skibbity Robert toilets are going to do that much damage. Are you joking me right now? Healer TV Woman, heal the city. Goodness gracious. Thank you, Healer TV Woman. We are safe. Oh no. No, no, no. This is looking bad. Drill man as backup. Drill man as backup, and I'm probably gonna need to spawn another one. Dude, spend some of your money. Stop saving it up. I need you to help me defeat the mutant toilets because Healer T Woman's doing all she can, but she's not enough. 
Wave 21 in the highest I've ever been is uh, wave 40, so let's try to get to wave 50 at least. Come on, T healer TV woman, I need to spawn. Maybe a green laser? Nah, probably not. Let's just upgrade our Titan Drumman to level 2! And now he's got- oh, he's faster now? More damage, okay. He's quicker and his cooldown is cut by 2%. Why is this guy only spawning the laser cameraman car? And he's using a mace cameraman? Everybody's got the mace cameraman, brother. I might need to equip another unit. Oh, shoot. Healer TV woman, I don't know if you're enough. And the clock, the clock man is definitely not good enough to stop both of them. Both of them are at level 2 now. I think, I, wholly, I really, really hope this is enough. It's not enough! Alright, I might have to stop time. Oh, I might have to use the stop time button. Oh, I can't use it for another 5 minutes! Dang it! The mutant toilet's coming at him fast, buddy. Super fast, bro. Stop him! Well, endless mode is definitely harder than I thought, but it's not over yet. We still have some pretty good mythic units, which is the katana. Katana speaker woman. And skip plus auto skip. First up is the katana. Here we go. Katana. Oh! Ninja toilet. Ninja. Everybody was kung fu fighting. So once I got that down, let me spawn another one. Right next to them. Oh, I don't have enough money to place this troop. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Everybody's kung fu fighting, okay? We got two katana women. The Robux, $150 for this one. And once I get a more cash, I can upgrade them to level 2. And if I upgrade the next one to... Ooh, ooh, level 2. Katana speak woman. She's got ears now. And I'll upgrade the farm for 400 This guy wants to be my friend again. Not yet until we get a win. We have to win this match first, bro. We can get all the exclusive units you want, so be sure to subscribe, guys, if you want some of these free exclusive units. But does he know I got the Titan Drawman like this? Titan Drawman spawned. Titan Drawman. There we go. We spawned it. We spawned it in a perfect place. Ha ha. Level 3 Katana woman. She's got headphones. She's lethal. By the looks of it, I'm pretty sure, after all the mythic units that I've used in Total Defense history, I think the Katana Speak Woman's definitely like top, top 3. And I think it might be better than the Titan Drawman. Just because she used a katana. The katana helps out a lot. Upgrade the farm to level 3. 4. I mean, 4. Yes, 4. Yes, sir. And after that, level 5 max level. Just look how beautiful this rose farm is becoming. It's amazing. Yeah, you guys always need a farm if you guys are going to play Total Defense. You need a farm. Uh, you need to help you farm so many other katanas. Alright, so let me use... Green Laser Cameraman was also another OP we use unit. Super OP, super underrated. Upgrade you, upgrade you. You should be a strong Laser Cameraman now. We're doing better than the last round, so we like this. This is good. Upgrade to level 4, Mrs. Katana. She's got knives coming out of her ears. Dude, that's kind of sketch, but whatever. Level 4 for the Green Laser Cameraman, and what does he add now? Oh, he doesn't have any other effects. Oh wait, he has a camera on his chest now, I see. Okay, buddy. Green laser cameraman doing some work in toilet tower defense. And now, the minigun toilets coming fast. The minigun toilets and the assassin toilets. No, not if I upgrade them. Haha, <laughs> yes sir. I upgrade them like this, the titan drill man. Every single wave is on auto skip, so I think we are still doing pretty decent. Alright, the green laser cameraman, you might need to be upgraded and so does the titan drill man. Because we got boss toilet now. We got the big boss toilet. So we're going to spawn another unit right next to him. Yeah, let's spawn both of them like that. Somebody stop the boss toilet, brother. Bacon, help me out here. Bacon? Bacon, help me out here. This boss toilet's coming at us quickly. Green laser cameraman, I'll just have to upgrade you to max level. Well, we made it to wave 25, and I might have to use a special weapon now. Here we go. Laser cameraman, mutant toilets. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is bad. Let me spawn another unit again. Wave 26 here, buddy. We're doing pretty dangerous now. Everybody stop the auto skip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no! No, I can't lose this. Oh, dang, brother. Dang, brother, dang, brother. Brother! Oh my gosh, oh my... You're kidding me! Ah! I got a new endless record. Wave 38. That was so close. Well, if you guys want some of these units, be sure to subscribe. With a new Skibbity Toilet video coming out from The Boom, Talanthric says that we're going to get another update, and this might be one of his best updates ever. We might get things like a marketplace, and of course, he's going to be adding some new titans. 
mythics, and even some new exclusives. Now in the real Skippy Toilet video, there are new mythics like this one right here. TV Titan Man, Radio Man, Cameraman, a whole bunch of them. Of course, there's new Skippy Toilets that are going to defeat them with some epic rockets. All right, but it's something we've never seen before. We've seen a whole bunch of those. But for the new units, I'm pretty sure Talanthric is going to add something like this one right here. Maybe a new helicopter, maybe a new toilet boss like this one right here with a bunch of new lasers and a bunch of new weapons. There we go, full power, and that's epic. That's pretty epic right there. Now, as you can see, this is one of the most epic new bosses that Talanthric could add into the next update. He's like 20 times the size of everybody else, plus his lasers are actually overpowered. Talanthric did say he's onto it, and he's adding the Octo Rocket Soldier Toilet with 100 strength, I guess. It looks like the, um, it looks like this one right here. It looks similar to other units that um, Defook Boom actually added. Like this one and some other units as well. And after that, he's going to add... Talentic also said he's adding the laser arm cameraman. Which is basically an upgrade from... Let's see. If we look at our units, it's basically an upgrade from this one right here. Probably from the laser cameraman car or even some other legendary basic units. Like the green laser cameraman. I'm not sure if this unit is going to be an exclusive. Because it's basically just like this one right here. The laser cameraman arm. Look at him. He has a laser as an arm and... He can also fly. Alright, so this could be a pretty cool update if Talanthric does it right. And of course, there's a whole bunch of units that he has to destroy. Okay, yeah. So this unit for sure is going to shoot lasers. The laser um, the laser arm cameraman will definitely shoot lasers from his arm. Don't know about part, any other part of his body, but that's one thing. It's basically an upgrade from the other cameramans and other laser units, like the one we just showed you. Like this cameraman is probably an upgraded, right? It's all it's all the same. So he might not make it a mythic, but he could make it into a legendary or even an exclusive. Now with all those new units and all the new bosses and toilet tower defense, there's also one more thing Talanthric has to add, and that's the marketplace. There's a whole bunch of rumors that Talanthric can add a marketplace for trading and buying units, just like in some other games like Pet Simulator 99. Because if we go to the trading plaza, it doesn't lead you to the marketplace, guys. And with the last update being the Valentine's update, Talanthric has had a lot of time to rest his mind, so he's probably going to be coming back with another banger. Alright, here it is. So, lobby, right? Lobby. And look at this is the trading plaza, right? And it's just missing something. Talanthra could add a whole bunch of new ideas. A bunch of new units, like it says here, coming soon. Something cool will be here. What will it be? You, you guys know what it's going to be. It's going to be, of course, none other than a marketplace or a, a new trading plaza. A, a marketplace where you can buy stuff. You know, people with stands, where you can buy a whole bunch of new units. And spend a lot of coins, hearts, or gems that you have on the units. Yeah, why else would Talanthric be adding a whole bunch of people like this dude over here with the Robux? He's selling fruits, but in reality, he's going to be selling toilets. His Talanthric right here, the actual Talanthric unit, selling a whole bunch of fruits. But no, he's going to be selling toilets in the next update. I'm pretty sure Talanthric might add a marketplace. Even this dude right here, another developer. They're all going to be selling a whole bunch of new units. And we're going to be able to buy it with probably some of our coins, some of our gems, and maybe in the next update, there probably will not be hearts. So it probably is going to be another unit, another item. It might be something like crates, or it might be something like stars. Because we did see, or it might be something like missiles, because we did see a whole bunch of missiles in the in the Boom's newest Skibbity Toilet 71 video. And there's also a new game that has just been released. It's called Skibbity Tower Defense, so I'm pretty sure Talanthric is going to take ideas from this guy too. Because this game actually has some of the most coolest units that you've never seen. Like, let me just show you. So, uh, the Titan Computer Man, the Large Spotlight Man, which we have not seen. Upgrade Titan Drill Man, which basically is from Talanthric's game. And, but the best one is probably the Boom. This has got to be the rarest, coolest, most epic unit ever. It's the Boom. It's actually the boom. The owner and creator of Skibbity Toilet. Skibbity Toy Toy. So uh, um, as you guys can see, there's pretty much nothing else in the shop. It's pretty much similar to Toilet Tower Defense. There's Godly, there's all these Ultra Luckies, there's Double Coins and Double Coins. If we're talking about new units, Sparta TV, I think that has been in Toilet Tower Defense. This one as well, but not the boom. We can buy them for just 500 Robux, but I already got two of them, so we're not going to do that. And then there's the secret agent with only 88% of them exist. And that unit is probably based off of another secret agent in the Skibidi Toilet universe. If we go back to Skibidi Toilet episode 69. Yeah, Skibidi Toilet episode 69. Let's, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. There's the new secret agent unit. I saw it here in some in some video. Um, is this it? No, that's the, that's the Mace Cameraman. Mace Cameraman. Okay, I think one of these guys right here is, of course, the secret agent. And the secret agent in this green tuxedo suit... It's probably going to be a really strong unit if Talanthric could add it to Toilet Tower Defense. 
We already got a Titan TV man, and a Jetpack man, and a large Spotlight man. But we want to see also the Titan Computer man. That is a unit that's... That's a unit that Talantric has not added. The Titan Computer man right here, let's look at him. Let's take a look at him right here. It says error recording. What, what just happened? Titan Computer Man. And that's the secret agent right there, guys. Oh, that's Titan Computer Man again. This is sort of like... Oh, he's the real boss. He's the real boss of it. Oh, no. And it looks like... Yep, that's that's going to be a pretty, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad, dudes. Well, anyways, if we go back to what Talantic might add to the update, he could probably add Titan Computer Man. Not the Drill Assassin, because that's kind of old. The Drill Woman and uh, Upgraded Camera Woman can skip. But he might be adding the Secret Agent for sure in the Daboom. We need some more units, bro. We, we've seen all the units we had in Toilet Tower Defense already. Let's get some new units into the game. And even though this is um, Toilet Tower Defense, the copy of Toilet Tower Defense, it has some pretty cool effects and pretty cool features as well. Like we can get this unit right here, which is called the... Spotlight, yeah, that's a spotlight. Oh, that's a camera woman. Okay, but there's no marketplace in this game So that means that toilet talantric is totally going to add something like a Marketplace where we can all trade and buy units instead of you know trading like this, you know instead of trading like this Yeah, we don't want to trade like this you could easily get scammed and plus not everybody wants to trade you too That's a big problem in toilet tower defense Not everybody wants to trade you their best units acid gunner speaker helicopter all these new units talantric I don't think people want to buy that. I don't think people want to trade all the time. They could probably also be wanting to trade or even buy units just regularly. So yeah, okay, that's declined. No, I'm not doing that. So yeah, with um, new units being added and new new characters being added to the Skibbity Toilet Universe, Talantric could be making the best update in the history of Toilet Terror Defense. He could also be adding an AFK area, a new one. Maybe a, a fresh new AFK area because this AFK area right here, if we take a look at it, uh, yeah, it looks pretty boring. So what if Talantric just adds that? Besides that FK area, Talantric could also add new PvP modes. That would be pretty epic. Like this game right here added the PvP mode so I can basically 1v1 my best friend like this dude right here. We could do 1v1 and we could um, bet on each other's Titan and Mythic units. That'd be pretty cool. And with new maps, Talantric could also add something new because there is also new maps inside the Skibby Toilet universe. New places as well. As we could go to Skippy Toilet episode 70. Talantric has not added a new map in a long, long time. So let's just take a look at this one. This is what I'm talking about right here. This right here is the new map in the new setting that Talantric should add. It's like with rocky background, right? It's in the middle of a dam with a whole bunch of waterfalls. Yeah, this is where the water is supposed to be in, guys. It's a dam. It's like a hidden base, a hidden military base. Yeah, as you can see all that, wow, that's a lot. Oh, this one does a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure it's the green laser man taking all the damage here. Oh, yep, and he just got a shot. But yeah, there's a camera base in this game, so I'm pretty sure Talantric needs to add that. He has to also add a desert area, like I just said. Let me just show you guys. Yeah, this game, um, Toilet Tower Defense, Skibby Defense Tower, is pretty similar to Toilet Tower Defense. But look, this is like the desert area, and it's not as good as what it looks like in the real Skibbity Toilet video. But it's it's pretty decent. Talantric also eliminated the insane, hard, and normal easy mode. I mean, you could get rid of that, since we all basically have endless mode already. So if you want to go insane, just go to endless mode. Right? Just go to endless mode, that'd be pretty much better. But as I said, this is like the desert area in Toilet Tower Defense that needs to be added. Uh, this is Skibbity Tower Defense, with all these, you know, mythic units and all that that Talantric has to add in the next video. In the next update, these need to be added. All right, so let's go back to what else could be added in Toilet Tower Defense. Obviously, something like this. Yeah, just take a look at that. That's one of the crazy heck unit, dude. Of course, it's the godly unit right there that we always see. But also, there's new settings, like this uh, underground base that Talantric hasn't added. And this is also like a desert, desert area, a desert or abandoned city. He could also add that one. And of course, there's a whole bunch of mythic godly units that gotta be added too. Like this dude, I think it's the old one that we've seen before. And yeah, you can just kill units pretty easily with the power from your chest. Look, that's the Roblox man face right there too. We do have the desert, uh, guys, I get it. We, uh, Guys, I get it. We do have the desert and we do have Toilet City. We have Palm Paradise, the Toilet Lab, and the Toilet HQ. But what about like a new military base for all the Skibbity Toilets? What about like a new military HQ for the Titan TV man or something like that? That seems pretty cool because we do have a uh, pretty cool godly units. Let me see how many godlies. I got two t two godlies and let's see a mythic, the sinister, sinister TV man. Yeah, so let's, it's time for us to get a new update guys. It's time for us to get some new units in Toilet Tower Defense. 
If you guys agreed, then subscribe and comment down below what you guys think to land to add to the next update. With the Valentine's event coming close to an end in Toilet Tower Defense, Talanthric is on his way to make Toilet Tower Defense better. We can expect to see some new units, exclusives, and new bosses. In fact, he's still currently in fact, he's working on a game as we speak. And if we go to his YouTube channel, Talanthric has just said, Marketplace update release date, Toilet Tower Defense. Today, I have some more information about the Marketplace and the Episode 71 update in Toilet Tower Defense. So we've been working on the Marketplace a lot. I am done with all of the UIs for it. And Everybody like and subscribe to Talanthric's video because we're getting a Marketplace. What did I tell you guys? In the last video, I said we're definitely going to get a Marketplace. We're definitely going to see new units, new exclusives, and of course, some godly units. Talanthric's going to add them all. And I was right. Talanthric already said he's done with the UIs for Toilet Tower Defense Marketplace, so that means that means all he has to do is just update the game and add some more units, and then it's ready to go. Yeah, let me show you guys where it's going to be. This is the trading plaza, right? So I'm assuming Talanthric can add something like around here, maybe around replace these trees right here, since winter is coming close to an end. It's already March, so winter might be ending soon. So the post office is going to be right here. This probably is going to be the marketplace, and then here is a trading plaza. It should all be uh, relatively close to each other. If Talanthric doesn't do that in the next update, he'll probably make the marketplace in the trading plaza then. So let's teleport there. This will probably be updated as well since it is not Valentine's Day anymore. No more hearts. And no more love for toilet terror defense. Alright, so here is... So here it is, in the trading plaza. There's a huge blimp, and I did not see it in the last video. So, that is definitely a new effect that Talanthric has added. I've never seen that blimp before. I don't know if it was just me, but i never seen that. Now here it is, coming soon, something cool will be here. As I told you guys, you know what's going to be here. It is going to be the marketplace. Now, I don't know why this uh, cameraman is just looking at us, security cameraman is just staring at us. Oh, he's supposed to be a judge to finalize your trades. That's why there's a gurney right here with a big stick. Yeah, so he just slaps that thing and then boom, trade is complete. Trade is complete. Okay, so besides that, if we walk around a little bit, there's a lot of open areas over here for people to use their stands. So I'm pretty sure um, Talanthric got this idea from Pet Simulator, Preston, the you know the guy who makes you spend a whole bunch of Robux in his videos. The guy who makes you spend a whole lot of Robux to get a pet. Yeah, so in that game, you're able to pretty much create your own stand like this one right here. And you're able to sell pets. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. If not, here, take a look at this, yeah, so on PetSim99, I'm pretty sure the Marketplace and Toilet Tower Defense will be like the Trading Plaza in, t the trading plaza in PetSim99. So for instance, in PetSim99, look at this, everyone can set up their stand and sell it for as many coins or as many things as they want. So if I were to set up a stand like right here, next to these bots, all you gotta do is just claim it. Make a listing and you can sell like your huge pets for whatever, like whatever, let's say a million trillion gems. Now since there's no gems in Toilet Tower Defense, question is, what is Talanthic going to replace it with? Maybe he could use gems, but that would pretty much be copying pets in Man 9. And Talanthic is much more creative than Preston, so I don't think he wants to do that. We could use hearts, but Valentine's Day is coming to an end, so why would we use hearts? And then we could have coins as well. Which probably makes the most sense because if you sell some units for instance, if you sell like your Titan and Mythics, let's say I want to sell a godly unit that I have. Like if I were to sell my godly unit, you can I sell this unit? Well, okay, fine, I'll just sell a Mythic then. I'll just sell this. Okay, if I were to sell it, I'll probably get a whole bunch of coins. Alright, let me just sell exclusive since I can't do that. Sell exclusive, sell these two units for 350 coins, and yes, let's do it. So that probably makes the most sense, but for, for but in order for that to happen, the values for when we sell our units inside our inventory is going to have to be changed. Because why would somebody buy a whole bunch of units when they're selling their units for nothing on um, on the unit side right here in the inventory? You got you guys know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, the marketplace is definitely coming, and so are some new toilet tower defense units. So you can put up units for sale. Evan just has to like make the buy menu scripted, which is gonna be pretty simple. Nice, nice. And I still gotta make the server list UI, and then Evan scripts it, which I will do tomorrow. So that means the release nice, okay, date cool. is where I wake up. I'm gonna try to make the server list UI. So that's Let's gonna go. be. Let's go. I'm talking from the perspective of it being the like, server list, or if we'll have to add that a little later. Well, he later should be. He should be. We could add the server list a little later. So Let's go. Alright, so as you guys just heard it from Talantrix's video, March 1st, which is tomorrow, and March 2nd, so Friday, Saturday update. Yes, sir! Everybody, you guys gotta prep and get all of your units ready for the new update in Toilet Terror Defense. This might be the biggest of all the biggest events in Toilet Terror Defense history. So instead of, you know, trading everybody like this, we can all head to a trading plaza into a marketplace where you can just sell your units instead. Let's say I want to buy the green laser cam man. I already got that. Yeah, let me say, can I can I give you coins instead? And he just canceled. See, you can't even give people coins instead. But I know for sure that Talantric is going to be adding coins as a way for us to make the transaction to our fence. To buy units, you're gonna to have to need coins. To sell a unit, you're probably just gonna to have to sell a unit and probably accept the trade. Or accept accept whatever offer people want to make for you. So it looks like it's finally here. Everybody, are you guys prepared for the Toilet Terror Defense Marketplace update? Uh, comment down below, because I know I am. And to do that, to prepare for this, I think I'm going to need a lot of coins. So there's two things I could do. I could um, buy some coins, like this one right here. I could already buy, let's see, maybe just a thousand more coins. Let's just buy a thousand more coins for now, alright? After buy a thousand more coins, let's just sell every single unit that we got. Let's just sell all the basics, right? Let's sell all of our basic units. Here we go. This is pretty exciting. I've never been this excited for a Toilet Tower Defense update in at least two months. Um, okay, here it goes. Here we go. Let's sell all of these. So this is going to have to be sold for 180 coins. 36 units. So that right here has to be changed. Because why would I sell my pe Why would I sell my units for only 180 coins? I get they're basic, but come on. They got to be worth a little more than that in order for people to buy other units because a lot of the noobs in Toilet Tower Defense like myself for instance don't have a whole bunch of godlies or mythic units so it's not like we can just buy and sell buy and sell of our, our best units that we got for nothing we, it's impossible I already sold 24 troops and all I got was like 600 coins uh, yeah that definitely has to be fixed Atlantic. please fix that unless we're gonna spend gems and in that case to buy some gems, I'm actually out of Robux for that, but I could probably trade people some gems, so it might make sense. We could probably use gems instead of coins. I don't know which one Talantic is going to choose, but comment down below, everybody. Will it be the coins or will it be the diamonds or gems that Talantic will be adding? Let's, let's just see if we could just trade for more gems. Alright, let me trade Jimmy or let me trade the chicken head. Alright, cool. Here we go. Can I get to gems? Gems. Let me let me see what you got, bro. Gems. Ooh, he's got Titan Cinema Man, the Shotgun Mythic, a lot of Mythics. Pretty epic, bro. Pretty pretty epic. And just like that, they decline the trade. Oh yes, they do. Hopefully that all gets fixed in the next Toilet Tower Defense update, which it will on March 1st, only in a couple of hours, and March 2nd, which is basically the next day. So everybody, let's do this. Let's get some more units.